Hello, welcome to this video and whatever, and I'm here at Kentish Town to do some things. Yes, I'm exploring Kentish Town, home of a national rail station, Karl Marx, Tessa Joe and Tom Hiddleston. But where in the world is this place? Oh, it's um, right there. Right there, my friends. And there it's been for over 800 years on the banks of the now disappeared River Fleet. But there's more to KT than just German socialists, such as this Leslie Green Design Underground station, covering its oxblood red tiles, or this lovely old postmaster's building the internet told me about, or indeed its colourful musical history. Kentish Town has the kind of now long forgotten history of being famous for making pianos. All these old uh, piano string makers and organ key makers now turned into colleges and flats. As the natural life cycle of London tends to go, you can find hints of pianos everywhere you look. You just gotta keep your eyes peeled. Ah, find one right there. And this extended to a shop I found called Pianos that obviously sells jewellery. Anyway, next I ventured to a pub called the Pineapple. The sign of the door being a pineapple. There's plaster work above the windows of pineapples. And there's even a fruit shop across the road. But that didn't sell any pineapples. But if you go round the corner from the pineapple into this, uh, well, this old mews cobbled stone up, there was a very strange guest that used to live here. The internet claims that here where there would have been lots of stables once, there lived a giraffe, while its enclosure in London Zoo was being constructed. Sadly, I can't find anything about this in any reptile place, so I don't think it's true, but it's a lovely story. I searched for any evidence that would support this bizarre claim. I mean, aside from anything else, if you actually look at them, none of them are big enough to have a giraffe. Like, a giraffe is, is as tall as the building, and there's no, there's no aperture for a giraffe neck to go in it. It just... It just doesn't seem likely. Still, I continued on, hoping that I could find some morsel of truth in this tale. So you a bit of on-the-ground research here, and I found this church, St Bennett's Church, does have the requisite height required to soar a giraffe, but again, lacks the necessary doorway. So I find this story to be false. It says here, quite clearly, no motorbikes, children playing, and yet, no children playing. Not a single one. Just to get more lies and lies and lies. And as the sun began to set, I realised that even the name of this place was a falsehood. This isn't even in Kent. It's nowhere near. I realised my work here was done. Sadly, my 39 minutes in Kent town have come to an end, and that's all I have to say about it, really. So thanks. Bye bye now.